نضيه بنور الدنيا وننشر في الفضاء أملا ونعلي عزم همتنا فمن طلب العلا وصلا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي خلق كل شيء فقدره تقديرا وتبارك الذي جعل الليل والنهار خلقة لمن أراد أن يتذكر أو أراد شكورا أحمده سبحانه وأشكره وأتوب إليه وأستغفره وألتجي إليه في يوم كان شره مستطيرا Respected elders and brothers of Islam, soon we are about to enter a new Islamic Hijri year and say goodbye to a Hijri year which is about to depart from us with its nights and days and various happy and sad situations. These past moments are good, are our good and bad deeds. There will be witnesses for us or against us. Months after months and years after years pass. But in their, in their passage, there is an admonition and a lesson for those who seek thanks. As we bid farewell to a year of our lives, we need to instill the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our hearts. These pages of the book of life and these moments of the life are the stages through which we are moving towards the journey of the hereafter. Until a time will come when we will reach the last stage of our journey. Every passing day is bring, uh, bringing us further away from this world and closer to the hereafter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who reverses the night and the day. Verily, in all these things there is an admonition for those who have eyes to see. At the end of the previous year and the opening of the new year, the believer should make an account of himself. Keep the moments of the past year in front of your eyes. Then thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for whatever good you see in it and try it to increase it more. In the same way, whatever sins, actions against the Sharia or ignorance from it, whether intentional or unintentional, repent of them and pray to Allah Almighty for forgiveness and His grace. For this reason, it has been the method of Salaf Salihin that they used to make the last day of the year special for repentance and forgiveness from past sins. Therefore, their tongues did not get tired of asking for forgiveness and their hearts and minds used to grasp the door of the most merciful. One who accepted repentance and humbly asked for forgiveness for their past sins and the good end of the current year and praying for good deeds in the future. Therefore, the moments of the end of the year we should use to engage in the recitation of the Holy Quran and other supplications and acts of worship. In particular, we should, have, we should save ourselves from sin, lying and blasphemy and we could not even think of the worst sins like backbiting and gossiping. The Holy Prophet wasallam said, the deeds are believed by their end. Therefore, when the end of the year is done with good deeds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the exalted, passes through it the past sins and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaces them with good deeds. As the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah replaces the sins of such people who with good deeds. Islamic brothers, one of the basic principles of this righteous religion is that actions are based on their end. As the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said in the Holy Hadith, Surely one of you acts in such a way that one yard remains between the hellfire so that the divine destiny prevails over him and he starts doing the work of the people of paradise and become worthy of paradise. There is a principle of pure sharia that in it zikr and asking forgiveness at the end of the acts of worship are recommended. As in the chapter of Hajj about Arafah, he ordered, so you judge the prayer and remembered Allah. In the same way, at the end of Ramadan, he ordered and complete the Eid and magnify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For this reason, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to ask for forgiveness three times after every prayer. Therefore, a Muslim should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness for his past sins at the end of the year and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
frequently. Whoever repents and asks forgiveness for the rest of the days, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive his past sins by his grace and mercy. And whoever commits disobedience during the remaining days, Allah will punish him for his past sins and the rest.